We're getting new details this morning about what happened in a mass shooting at a Colorado nightclub on Saturday. Hundreds of mourners gathered at a vigil yesterday for the victims of the shooting. A vigil held about a 15-minute drive from the LGBTQ-friendly club where five people were killed, 25 others injured. Natalie Collada is on that story for us today. What is the latest, Natalie, following that vigil last night? Well, Heather, we do know that people gathered really right across Colorado for this vigil. Also, other vigils as well happened throughout the United States. But we have pictures to show you from the one that happened at the Unitarian Universalist uh, Church. People there lit candles. There was an outpouring of emotion and support, of course, for that all too familiar scene in the United States. Five people, as you mentioned, killed 25 others injured when a gunman walked into the nightclub on Saturday with what police say was a powerful long gun and opened fire. Now, police arrived within about five minutes, but what we're learning today is that were it not for the actions of some individuals within the club, things could have been much worse. That's according to police who say several people inside the club tackled the shooter uh, and uh, took him down. And that is when police arrived saying that uh, the police chief saying they really owe that individual or those individuals a debt of thanks for those actions. We do know that uh, many who were there are coming to terms, still grappling what happened, including those who were inside the club at the time when bu bullets started to fire. We heard everything. We heard more shots fired. We heard uh, the assailant being beat up by someone that I assumed that tackled him. We heard the police come in. I came here to celebrate my birthday. Honestly, I was supposed to be in Denver, but I came back a day early and like, I just, it's sad. Now, Saturday's attack, Heather, is the sixth mass shooting in the United States this month. And it is, of course, for many echoing the uh, shooting, the mass killing that happened in Florida at Pulse nightclub a few years ago, where we know 49 people were killed, 53 people were injured in that attack. And Natalie, as officials continue to investigate, are they learning anything about motive here? That is definitely something they are investigating closely. We know the um, El Paso County District Attorney says one of the things they are investigating are uh, the possibility that this could be a, a hate crime. We do know that the state's governor, Jared uh, Pulsey, called the attack uh, sickening. Pulsey was one of the uh, first openly gay uh, individuals elected governor back in 2018. So he's speaking out about this. As for the suspect himself, he's 22 years old. Um, he's being treated for his injuries. He is in custody. Police have identified him, Heather, as Anderson Lee Aldrich, a man with the same age and name was arrested last year. According to authorities, uh, his mother had reported him uh, for threatening her with the quote, homemade bomb, multiple weapons and ammunition. Police, however, have they're not confirming that that individual is the same person, but they do say they are looking into whether the suspect was previously arrested. What we do know is that violence uh, targeting uh, the LGBTQ community in the United States is on the rise. And in fact, um, Colorado Springs police chief talked a little bit about that. Have a listen to what he had to say. We're working tirelessly to ensure that justice for the victims in this senseless and evil shooting is given. Club Q is a safe haven for our LGBTQ citizens. Every citizen has the right to feel safe and secure in our city, to go about our beautiful city without fear of being harmed or treated poorly. I'm so terribly saddened and heartbroken. Now, the FBI, Heather, also helping in this investigation. Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau taking to social media to feed out his condolences and, of course, uh, calling what happened a vile act of hatred. Heather? Natalie Collada, thank you very much.